Hi, it's Karen. Earlier today, I showed everything in the Stampin' Up! Project Life Hello December 2015 bundle. And now I am going to make a few cards to show you how versatile the bundles are. The first one I made was from one of the December cards and there are enough of those to last for um, each day of December and what I wanted to show was that you don't always have to use those cards as a December card. So some people may want to do a monthly, some may be want to do a weekly, some might just want to do Christmas Day, but this was the December card for the Hello December 2015. When you flip them over, they're um, the same design on the back on some of them. All of them are different, but they are all two-sided. And I made a greeting card with the other side. I added some snowflakes from our snowflake punch and stamp set that's also a bundle. And the word Christmas blessing. I also took our rhinestone basic or our jewel basic rhinestones and did those in the corner and in the center of the snowflake. These are the Jewel Basic Rhinestones. You can see you get quite a few in a package of three different sizes. And something else that you can do to make your rhinestones match exactly, you can take these and color them with your markers. And you can get them in the Lost Lagoon if you want, or the Mint Macaron, the Mossy Meadow, or any color that you might like. So for this card, I took and I used my Stampin' Write markers, and you want to use the one that's going to be the lightest first. And I just colored in my branches just with like little um, strokes, just like the branches. And I didn't color color every bit. I left a little white in there because we're, we're trying to get kind of maybe a little bit of a dimensional illusion. And so I just went along in the same direction that each of the branches had their um, things going. So you can see right there, they had already changed the card. Then I took my mossy meadow and I came in and I just made a few little flecks over the um, mint macaron just to give it a little bit more dimensional look. Over the next couple of months, I'm going to be working a lot with the stamp and write markers to show everybody just how um, versatile they can be. So as that dries, you can see how you've got a little bit more dimension and it looks more like a pine branch. Now I had one of the December cards also in the red. And when I flipped it over, this is real red. I stamped Deck the Halls from a different holiday stamp set that we have. I started coloring the branches, but I'm going to come back in and just do that with you again just to show you how easy that is to transform the card. Mm -hmm. 
And then I took my Mossy Meadow again. Just gave it a few little flicks. It looks dark when it's coming out, but as it dries, it kind of blends in. It just looks like it's very natural. So I didn't want the bow to remain the very vanilla color. So I did take my marker and I colored it. Now, when you get down to really fine little points, you can use your um, writing side instead of your painter side to do your points. You can outline with your point, with your um, writing side. And I just colored it in. And the more times you color over it, the darker it gets. So you can see how it's a little bit shaded here. And it's starting to look more like a real bow. And you just keep going over that until you have the color that you would like or the shading that you would like. Just when you are going over it, Make sure that it dries in between each coat so that um, you don't ruin your paper underneath. So here you can see where I did a second coat, and this is where the one I just did with the one coat. And you can just see how each time you go over, it just changes it that much more. And I'm going in and I'm going to do that one more time but I think what's going to happen is when it dries I'm going to come back in and just kind of darken the whole thing up again so that it looks like the folds or the creases in a bow. All right the next thing I did I took a piece of our Very Vanilla cardstock and I cut it at three and a quarter by four and a quarter to make a border around the card. It's an eighth of an inch border all the way around. Um, the card itself is the three by four Project Life card. And then after I did that, I took the real red, and again, I cut that a quarter of an inch larger. So this time, I did it at four and a half and three and a half, so that you would um, have a double border going around that. I took a piece of the Very Vanilla cardstock, I cut it at eight and a half by eleven, and I scored it at four and a quarter to make the base of my card. I'll put that together in just a minute because I also would like to show you the Let It Snow. And I took the other piece of the Very Vanilla that was from where I cut that at the five and a half on the eleven side. And then I scored it at four and a quarter on the eight and a half side. I used my bone folder to flatten that out and get a nice crease. And I cut the snowman. I used both Lost Lagoon and Mint Macaron to finish this out. I did stamped let it snow and I did make this banner by cutting it by hand and then on the swirls again I used the jewel basic rhinestones just very random to add a little bit of punch to the card so after I was done with all of that now I'm going to take my um, Stampin' Snail tape runner and I love this because when you run out, you have refills. 
so you're not paying for a holder every single time. And I just put a little bit. I don't. You don't have to go all the way around the edge, all the way down the middle. People really try hard to anchor these things down. I'd say the four corners and the couple little um, amounts of that in the middle are sufficient. I put that on my Lost Lagoon. Again, that was cut a quarter of an inch bigger, so we took the three by four, we added a quarter inch, and that gives you an eighth of an inch border all the way around. And I'm just putting this on just the way it is on my card base of Very Vanilla. You can decorate the inside, you can write inside, you can stamp inside, whatever you'd like to do. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to take the Project Life cards and make them into a greeting card. So if you have some left over, or if you're in a hurry and you just need a quick card, grab one of your Project Life cards and some card stock and a stamp or two. And you'll have your um, greeting card in no time. You can see how quick that goes together and how pretty that's going to look. So once I get this all assembled, I'm going to take one of our jewel basic rhinestones, one of the larger ones I think, and put that right in the center of my bow just to add a little bling. And you can see just all the different looks that you can achieve. Oops, use your imagination. Three different cards, one set of Project Life cards. You get 71 cards in a set of the Project Life cards. And we made three greeting cards. Think of how much it saved just by using some of the Project Life cards that I already had. So I hope you liked the project, and I hope that gave you some ideas of other ways that you can use your Project Life cards if you have ones that are left over. And thank you for joining me today. And I hope to be back later with yet another way to use your Hello December 2015 Project Life cards from Stampin' Up in other fun and useful ways. Thank you.